From the Stone Age until now, tools have been present in our lives. But even as they become more and more elaborate, there's one thing that has never changed. Our tools are passive. We have to tell them exactly what we want them to do. Now, here's something I'm sure you all have on you right now. It has millions of times more computing power than NASA had to get to the moon. And still, we have to physically input what we want it to do using a tiny keyboard. And even when we use a voice-based interface, we still have to explicitly say what we want the phone to do. This tool, even if it's very elaborate, is passive. Look at these people here now. It could be you, it could be me, it could be anybody. How many times have you had to stop in the street in order to type something onto your phone? With one hand, making mistakes, oblivious to your surroundings? Why is it so painful? Well, we live in a mobile world now. And in a mobile world, we've lost the ease of having a physical keyboard and a mouse. And soon, the mobile world won't be limited to your phone. Think of AR and VR and all the connected devices around us, all those touch screens. We have to find a new way to interact to get these devices. Enter predictive AI. Now, this is going to change our lives. For the first time, your interactions with technology will go from being purely passive to being predictive. And to show how this works, let's see an example. So here, let's see how humans decode this scene. So here we see two people, a man and a woman, at a dinner table. He's opening a box. Clearly, it's a proposal, a scene from almost every romantic movie. And odds are good that she'll say yes. That's one thing we can predict. Now, the words on the screen here are the concepts which allow us to understand the present context. And then we match this context with things we learned in the past in order to, in order to construct future scenarios. We connect the dots from the present to the past to the future. And to say it more scientifically, we do pattern matching. And we do that using language, which is the basis of our intelligence. Not only used to communicate with other people, it's also how we think and make plans and dream and even make unconscious decisions. The concepts that we are able to articulate through language allow us to understand context. And that's exactly what we do at BiggerPan. We analyze your context on mobile to anticipate what you want so you don't have to search for it. Let me show you an example. Imagine that you're reading an article about a movie like Star Wars. Just press the magic button, and you propose, we'll propose time, places where you can see the picture or trailers. And once you've bought your tickers, tickets online, you, we'll propose to you, press the magic button again, and we propose restaurants where you, can, where you can go near the theater. And then press it one more time, and we'll propose a Uber to get you there to the restaurant without entering the address. It's like magic, and it works with everything. With this magic button, we decided to do something new, to focus on micro moments which are those short bursts of activity that are intent-driven. On the average, people look at their phones 150 times per day. And if we can show them what they want right now, we increase chances to convert. The key to understand context is natural language processing, or NLP, a branch of artificial intelligence that deals with human language. NLP consists of a collection of machine learning and linguistic techniques which give machines the ability to understand humans and vice versa. We use named entity recognitions, or NER, which identifies four basic categories, locations, organization, dates, and persons. And we also train our own multi-class models and add them to new categories, such as movies and even products. We also use distribution semantics, which maps important concepts within a page into a vector, into a space, where the distance between words is the distance between the vectors. For example, if you follow the vectors, a king is to a man as a queen is to a woman. We started work working with native text, but we can also extract language from voice, videos, images to make predictions. And then we can go further and refine the context by feeding your personal information into a neural network which combines them to output better predictions. And we do this all privately and anonymously. This is the beginning of a new era where predictive artificial intelligence will transform our lives and make our use of technology easier than ever before. Thank you very much. Thank you.